<laughs> oh, I can't wait to see how this goes. Oh, Just man. don't puke on the mic. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna start crying. <laughs> he looks like the saddest human. Hey. So you had a lot of Moscow mules. A lot of Moscow mules. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even lay down. Yeah, you can't because you got well, the headphones you gotta on. Have your head closer to the board. <laughs> <laughs> Can you? T- were, did, were you vomiting in the bathroom a few minutes ago? A little bit, yeah. Okay, cool. Just making sure. <laughs> <laughs> and in the taxi cab over here. You puked in the in cab? In the cab? Out, out the, the door. Wind, out the door. <gasps> oh, and no. he continued to well, give you a ride? Yeah, he yeah, was very he was sweet, so man. Nice. He was very nice about it. You, did, did you oh tip this cab goodness. driver well? Oh, of course I did. <laughs> okay, good. Because yeah. I just had, do you know Sean Proudlove? No. He's a comic out here. He lives in Victoria now, and he drives a cab. And I just oh, had him wow. on my podcast, and yeah. he told us all about the etiquette of vomiting in a cab okay. and oh, what is that well just be really cool to the driver if you yeah. do yeah. <laughs> like yeah. don't yeah. don't Definitely puke yeah. and then be like fuck you you took that corner <laughs> yeah. too yeah. fast don't take this as an opportunity to get him to read your script exactly <laughs> <laughs> he's not gonna like it he's not gonna like good for you it, there's nothing more exciting than a the, the, than a puke in the full daylight of a <laughs> lovely Saturday morning. Yeah, these families like walking by. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like a late afternoon puke. The door opens. Beautiful. Oh, we should uh, we should probably introduce ourselves. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah, no. Welcome, listeners, to the Hunks Podcast uh, recording uh, after a wild evening at Just for Laughs Northwest in Vancouver. I'm Matt. This is our first on location. Yeah. Yeah. Podcast. yeah. Right. With your keyboard or whatever this thing is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's fancy, right? I like it. Looks like a Star Wars robot. I'm Rory. <laughs> I- I'm Dana. I'm a Gwyn. <laughs> I'm a Gwyn. <laughs> I'm a Gwyn. <laughs> Uh, my name is uh, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> it's not an AA meeting, Tim. <laughs> and, uh, it is for him. I am an alcoholic. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't know what happened to you last night. I, I turned around and you were like, I think fine. And then I was like, all right, and well, all we should probably go. And all of a sudden you couldn't speak. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't remember. I remember uh, it being like last call at the bar. And then I'm like, oh, I'm going to get everyone here. Moscow mule. <laughs> 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 Nobody <laughs> wanted a Moscow mule. <laughs> <laughs> so you, can't, you can't. You can't. I could have just not had them. But yeah. <laughs> I had them. <laughs> no. You can't cut this out. Like you have no. to own up to it. Yeah. And you have to you have to accept the consequences. Yeah, for sure. I'm Kathleen, by the way. Yes. Yeah, our special guest, Kathleen special McGee. Special guest, Kathleen McGee. <laughs> She's yes. uh, here to intervene on Tim and his It's yeah. it, it's <laughs> No, I, I don't want to intervene on this. This no. is great. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm proud of you. <laughs> Thank you. If I came in here and you were all full of energy and life, yeah. I'd be really disappointed in you. <laughs> it definitely took full advantage of uh, the party last night. You got to. If you're at a festival and there's free booze, yeah. you, you got to go nuts. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah, it really was. Mm-hmm. I think. Oh, man. I think. <laughs> Pretty sure I remember some fun. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm glad uh, we went to a Legion before that, just randomly with some uh, some oh, fans. Yeah. Over Which yeah. one? Which one? On commercial. Drive. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. yeah, the one on Main Street is really good too because they have a Legion cat. Oh. Yes, oh. it's the gr- Oh, you wouldn't have liked that because you're yeah. definitely I, allergic. You know, what, it's a big room yeah. and it's not going to be around me very much. Yeah, yeah he runs fun. away. Like you pet him for a little bit, and then he's like, "Fuck off, I'm a veteran." <laughs> 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 I did three tours in Nam. <laughs> put up with this. Yeah, shit. <laughs> he fought in Nam. <laughs> he gets like a PTSD sometimes. <laughs> you just see him rocking in the corner. <laughs> a helicopter comes on TV, and yeah. then he's just like. <laughs> Whenever uh, like an Asian dog walks by, he gets really <laughs> <laughs> he has a lot of problems. <laughs> he used to stack dogs like you. <laughs> <laughs> well, there was like a dog there named Charlie once, and he freaked out. <laughs> <laughs> he went nuts. I want to <laughs> join a legion and get a legion suit. Uh, do you know what a legion suit is? No. no. It's uh, what is it again, Dane? It's like Are you confusing this with a leisure suit? <laughs> <laughs> They're very similar. They're very similar. They're Plaid. Like beige pants. Uh, no, it's um it's gray pants and like a blue a blue blazer with like a little thingy on it. And a certain, but I don't think that you kind of tie. Yeah, and a certain kind of tie. But um I don't Anyone think that they can. just give you a suit when you sign no, up for a legion. This was just like yeah. our friend you gotta go fight one. a war. Yeah. You're right. 
or do <laughs> or some do sort of service for your country, yeah. not you know, just get drunk at a <laughs> Canadian comedy yeah, festival. Pay five dollars for a membership. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Here's a suit. I'll, I'll, I'll take a suit, please. <laughs> a suit. I signed up for the Legion. I think, yeah, I think there's more to it than that. I think it's up to our generation to keep the Legion alive, That's though. Right. That's yeah. It really is. Really I think I doing encourage good, though. everyone to go to Legion. Well, there's so much night, fun. They are. Last night they were doing very well. They yeah. had uh, uh, a big ass silent auction. Mm-hmm. Quinn oh. won a bottle of wine. Nice. Yeah, I just uh, they got the door prize door ticket. Door prize bottle of wine. Yeah. Door prize. They they called two numbers and those people weren't there or something happened. They weren't paying attention. Third number was me. That That's was my favorite. Stoked. Whenever there's a door prize and like everybody's waiting and they'll call a number and within five seconds, call a new one. They're yeah, gone. Yeah. <laughs> All these people are like, call a new one. Yeah. Fuck that person. They're going. They're in the bathroom. Fuck them. Oh man, there's a. I did a. I I did Kill weddings. In the streets. <laughs> <laughs> I did uh, weddings, I DJed weddings for a long time and, and socials, and is there's just like a pattern of behavior at those things. Like, you know, yeah, there's the there's the guys who there's a guy who has like seven thousand tickets and he's like <laughs> frantically checking them all. And then there's like the person who's like seven, five, four, seven, and then as soon as like a second goes by, somebody's like, Redraw. I saw them leave. I saw them leave. Um, and then there's that guy who like who comes there's an, another second goes by and some old uncle strolls up and is like I won I'm holding up a ticket gets almost there and then is like <laughs> I didn't win I was just I was fooling around oh I love that yeah. I love when they fooled you God. you're such a practical joker Uncle Joe oh, Teddy you <laughs> you've been guy. punked do you know that, like <laughs> yeah. socials are not a thing out here no, no. Second no. Dose. like I didn't even know what a social was my brother played hockey in Winkler for a few years and he was like they have this thing called a social and they raise money for their weddings and it's brilliant yeah. but they don't do and in ontario they do stag and does but stag i'm like does. yeah is that the same kind of idea yeah it's the same thing as a social like yeah. you have fun a fundraiser you have a party and like you have prizes and yeah. you make money for the wedding which huh. makes sense because weddings are so stupid when you have to pay like 30 Ugh. people my best friend's wedding was like not the movie but my actual best friend yeah. <laughs> 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 That had a budget of about seven million. Yeah, yeah, million. it was great. Hers was like forty grand. Like wow. it was paid for by oh. her generous, but but still, like if I can't imagine anybody not it, having it paid for. Yeah, being yeah. able to spend that yeah. kind of money. Why? And that's what every and all these poor girls have to watch. Say yes to the dress and like, what's your dress yeah. budget? Eight thousand dollars. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. I need a car. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Forty thousand dollars, and you can't. Like turn around and sell a wedding again to <laughs> no. recoup any of that. I love it. Uh, so I learned that uh, there's a German technique of swordmanship known as Mordau, which consists of gripping the sword inverted with both hands and using brute force to Im- incapacitate your enemy with the pommel or cross guard. <laughs> so it's like <laughs> grabbing what? the blade of the sword and beating someone with the handle. Oh on my it. god. It's, Why? It's like stabbing someone with what? a gun. Yeah. <laughs> that makes absolutely no sense. Yeah, I know. It doesn't make any sense. That's but Why? you want to look scary and badass. You pull out a sword flip it around and beat one guy up and the other guy's not going to fight. I don't even think that that looks badass. I think it just looks, you look like an idiot. You look insane. (laughs) Yeah. In a fight, you want to look insane. I guess. I mean, like if I, if I was going to fight and uh, the guy pulled out a sword and grabbed it and (laughs) (laughs) I would just first of all be impressed if he didn't slice his hand open. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean like, (laughs) and you get beaten up by an idiot, you die of embarrassment. (laughs) Oh, I, I would be more scared because it would be like, oh, this guy doesn't know how to use weapons. Good, I'm gonna win. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think the the idea of it is probably being able to you you start fighting someone with a sword and then get them into a position where they can't, where they where you got a stalemate and then drop your sword, grab their sword, rip it out of their hands and beat them with it. I guess that's probably what it is. How the fuck? <laughs> I, would, I, would, I would imagine you I just love that old blood. guns had to have swords on the end of them because they didn't work. Yeah. <laughs> I was yeah. like, yeah. I'm going to spend 20 minutes loading this gun. I'll shoot it once. Oh, I missed him, so I'll just stab yeah. you. Yeah. Oh, the, that's the best. The first couple battles, they were yeah. like, how did that all work out? And it's like, well, the first couple of volleys were all right, and then they got real close, and we were just screwed. At <laughs> first, we didn't put swords on the end of the guns, but the guns weren't working. <laughs> so we're like, let's put a sword. Yeah. Let's combine some of the weapon ideas we've got. Can we put an axe on the end of a gun? Let's put an axe on the end of like could a you, howitzer, and yeah, that should work. Like, could you imagine if you were in a war and <laughs> a, a war? war. 
what kind of war would you be in? Um, <laughs> like a medieval war? Which, which kind of war are you talking I'm about? I'm thinking Cola Modern Wars. War. War, for sure. <laughs> Was that? Yeah, the Cola Wars of the 80s. <laughs> <laughs> He's a, just a, a rough and tumble Pepsi salesman on the road <laughs> trying to make his eke out a living. <laughs> it's just me and my musket. <laughs> <laughs> the Cola Wars, I love it. Buy some Pepsi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you drive by a gas station. There's a Coke salesman impaled on a bayonet. <laughs> <laughs> this this is a Pepsi town. But if you're like, if you were in World World, <laughs> world War One, and uh, and it's you and like uh, you know a German soldier or something like that, and ten feet away from each other, and you both f- fire your guns and you're in a panic and you both miss. And then you're like frantically spending like five minutes <laughs> loading, <laughs> like for how long would that take to load the gun? And then, or or you just go at each other with. <laughs> these or you just lines. look at each other and be like, "What the fuck are we doing?" Yeah, yeah. you go, I go. We we're both live. We yeah. like, yeah. never let's, met. Let's yeah. fuck, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let's fuck. I haven't had a blowjob in weeks. <laughs> but like, come on, no yeah. one's gonna know. Everyone's <laughs> fighting. Yeah. I got, I have terrible gout, and I just, I miss my wife. And let's just have sex together. Yeah, it's exciting. <laughs> war bring, <laughs> war makes you horny. <laughs> you the only warning. time, warning, what? No. The only time I ever shot a gun, like I went to a gun range in West Edmonton oh, Mall. Did? Yeah, oh, it was fuck, exciting. In the West Edmonton Mall. Yes, Jeez. it's awesome. I shot a gun, a handgun, and like uh, that makes you really horny afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> it really does. You're just like, this is so powerful. <laughs> I need to fuck the shit out of someone. <laughs> like, it's, it's very exciting. I understand why crazy Americans like guns sometimes. <laughs> they should have like a fuck room at gun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that would be amazing. Yeah. <laughs> well, there is a Fantasyland Hotel just around the corner. Oh so yeah. You could get the truck theme suite, go shoot some guns, <laughs> then fuck in the back of a truck <laughs> make it a real redneck uh, night <laughs> they, got, they got vibrators in the shapes of guns now they so. do not uh. they do yeah and I I want one so bad <laughs> how bad ass is that just <laughs> yeah. but what if your child finds that oh, one yeah, day right? I can't he goes wait. and he takes it out yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, a, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then a police officer shoots him because it shoots him because it looks realistic. <laughs> you got to keep the batteries in a separate safe. Uh, you try uh, to like hold up a grocery store with it. <laughs> I don't want to lock up my vibrator. <laughs> I don't want to put my vibrator in a vibrator case. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I uh, I we I went to a film festival once and they wow. the opening night. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> the opening night. He's sassy yeah, when he's like over. What a dink. Um, they were they had a lobster lobster shotgun fest. So so you went ate lobster and shot skeet with a shotgun, and so you have ten shots each and like you, you could go in multiple times. But yeah. A shotgun is a what badass co- combination is that? Yeah. Why is this a film festival? Yeah, at least you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, what was the relevance of the film festival part, Quinn? Know, we're First, just... we're going to eat some hamburgers, then you're going to throw a rock at a building. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to call it a film fest so no one questions us. <laughs> it was in Saskatchewan. So... We're going to call it a film fest so we can get some government funding. <laughs> There's no funding for hamburger shooting anymore. We're going to watch a couple episodes of Jerky Boys. <laughs> Close it off with the Jerky Boys movie and then uh <laughs> Oh I loved the Jerky Boys. How oh, fucking oh, great were they? They were the best. I never what are the jerky boys? They're prank calls comedians from the nineties. Oh no, yeah. yes, I, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. Prank, I remember call, that. Com- yeah. prank call comedians <laughs> from the nineties. Oh how would you explain the jerky exactly boys. how you would Man, do I want to be a prank call comedian? <laughs> I would kill. You just don't want to do it. It's the worst. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when I moved to LA, <laughs> the person that was managing me told me that I should get into prank calling oh God. because it was the what? biggest next big thing. And this was like four or five years ago. Oh my God. <laughs> and I was like, God. I was like, what? <laughs> I literally was like, no, I'm can not. I just be a can I just do stand up, please? <laughs> no, you got to get a, on YouTube. Put them on YouTube. <laughs> That's why LA is oh my God. garbage. It's yeah. garbage. All those people like. They, uh. They just want you to get on YouTube and get hits. It's just so stupid. Like, be a prank call comedian. And I'm like, no. <laughs> call your grandmother. Say that your brother's dead. Oh, God. Like, some weird shit. Like, it's weird. 
Oh, fuck. Yeah, don't do prank calls. It's oh, not that exciting. <laughs> Although I have heard, have you ever heard the ones where they'll <laughs> where they'll call two Chinese restaurants and they'll have them, they'll start talking to one of them and then they'll say, can you read my order back? And then they'll put the other Chinese restaurant on the phone <laughs> and they'll read the order back and then the other lady's like, okay, so, <laughs> so she takes, it's like she's taking the order. <laughs> My fr- <laughs> my friend did this on the radio in Edmonton. I don't know if it's a popular thing, but it was really funny. <laughs> that's, pretty, that's pretty clever. It was yeah. really funny. You could do it with a pizza restaurant. It doesn't have to be a Chinese restaurant. You could do it at oh, Pizza man. Hut. I don't know. <laughs> oh, man. Um, <laughs> do you guys want to know what the word of the week is? Sure oh, do. Sure. Yeah, sure. Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> no, we don't have to. We don't word have to do it. Word of the week. It's coming at us. I can see it on Tim's phone. Hori. Hori? Hori. <laughs> How do you spell that? H O A R Y. So like Horfrost? Hori. The Hori hosts of Hoggoth. It's like a I, I guess an, it would be like Horfrost. Yeah. It's a it's Hori is like is I think it means cold. It means or it means like savage. Savagely cold. Wow. Nope. Uh-huh. Something like that. Nope. It's real Hori out nope. there. <laughs> <laughs> it is raining whores. <laughs> It's a raining horse. Hey. Hallelujah. <laughs> Those are weather people. <laughs> if I got paid to be right 60% of the time. <laughs> oh, my God. I love it. Going into your insurance agent being like, is this covered? It's an act of God. I don't know. <laughs> Is this? I just have a person sitting on, like, smashed in my car. <laughs> She's smoking a cigarette. <laughs> yeah. She's perfectly fine. My car is ruined. What does it mean? Uh, do you want to hear it in a sentence? Yeah. yeah. Take encouragement from this hoary truth. <laughs> no matter how bad things get, you can always make them worse. <laughs> I don't get this word yeah. at all. I know. <laughs> it yeah. still doesn't, doesn't have a definition. Well, this is it does. This is the Merriam-Webster definition. So, Quinn, you may be right in other dictionaries. But according to my great aunt Miriam. <laughs> Uh, the definition is gray or white with or as if with age. Oh, so that's extremely where old. old. Like oh. Future Frost Ancient. comes from is the white. Like, oh. yeah, uh-huh. Grandma, you're looking real hoary. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm really into hoary whores. <laughs> I like an uh, older lady. <laughs> that's one of those. That is one of those words that's just like. It's off the table now. Mm-hmm. It's like yeah. like gay is happy is just like yeah. It's not you're not using it that way anymore. My yeah. cousin's middle yeah. name is Gay. Yeah, really. And like yeah. There's my dad's a, middle name is Leslie. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. I love it when men I are named it. Leslie. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it makes me think of Gone with the Wind or Naked Gun. Yeah, 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 yeah. for yeah. sure. Yeah. But you have to call him Leslie. 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 <laughs> yeah. My drama teacher in high school was named Merle, and Merle. he was just a lovely nice. man. I like I like that name. Yeah, me too. Merle. I like good names. <laughs> I just named my dog Eugene because that's like great. Uh, I love that. Great name. Yeah. I just I love human names for dogs. Yeah. Eugene McGee is the cutest sounding <laughs> dog. He is. In the world. And he's yeah. really cute. I also call him Eugene the Machine. <laughs> 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 yeah. And he's. Yeah. And kind of. It was named after Gene Wilder mostly because I'm going to get a cat and call it Gilda. Oh, so I'm going to have Gilda and Eugene. Aww. Aww. Yeah. And they're going to be in love. I'm going <laughs> to force it upon them. <laughs> you know how dogs and cats work. <laughs> yeah, I don't give a shit. I'm going to make it work. <laughs> <laughs> cats and dogs living together. Total chaos. Exactly. It's going to be exciting. Uh, okay, we're going to take a quick break and come back with more Hunks Podcast. Okay. Uh, old Dutch potato chips from Manitoba, I believe. And uh, <laughs> everyone asks Canadians why we put our chips in the box because we're geniuses. Because if you did not know, you could cut the box open and put the chips inside. So you have a cardboard bowl. Old Dutch ketchup potato chips. Nowhere else but Canada. <laughs> <laughs> oh, welcome back to the Hogs Podcast. I'm sitting on a floor. <laughs> <laughs> but you'd rather be laying. I'd rather be laying down for you sure. You can lay down. No, he's got his I earphones in. Oh, I guess but if his could. head is closer to the board, you can lay down. I guess I can. Yeah. But then we can't make eye contact with you. It's probably you for the best. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> I'll stay up. <laughs> Uh, I'm right for a little bit longer. <laughs> for a bit. 
Um, so this it, we're now in the second part of the hot <laughs> podcast. <laughs> 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 and, uh, this is the greatest. I love it. He's already a slow talker, but <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm like, you even sound hungover. Yeah. yeah. Like when I saw you outside, I'm like, oh, Tim looks green. <laughs> 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 then you went and puked and you're less green, but yeah. now you just look finished. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> Now I think I'm, I feel like I'm on the uh, on the path to recovery. I I no longer feel drunk, which is good. That is that that means you're you're sobering up. <laughs> no, <yeah. laughs> that's what that means. That's that's the technical <laughs> medical term. <laughs> We're sobering up. <laughs> I don't feel drunk anymore. Doctor <laughs> McGee. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> Let me tell you, that means that you're not drunk anymore. I'm just going to start calling myself Dr. McGee. <laughs> yeah. Dr. McGee. Dr. McGee. <laughs> <laughs> but Dr. McGee will see you now. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to start doing that. Yeah. yeah Who's going to refute it? Who's going to refute yeah, it? Yeah, like what? Uh, what school did you get that from? I don't know, whatever doctor school you can get them from. School, <laughs> school of hard knocks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. School of the street school. <laughs> yeah. I became a doctor in the streets. <laughs> <laughs> it was the only way to get out of the hood. It was rap, basketball, or a PhD. <laughs> So I'm just like, you know, Dr. Phil. I just started calling myself a doctor. (laughs) You know, some people go, some people go eight years to doctor school. I spent my whole life on the streets, so I'm more qualified than anyone. You got to set that break right like this. (laughs) Yeah, like David Blaine Street Magician. (laughs) I'm I'm Kathleen McGee Street Street Doctor. I just go to people on the street and I'm like, you need an operation right now. That's and then, and then a wide eyed and walk backwards <laughs> yeah. like, whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. And then act all tired after every. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just a yeah. bunch of guys giving prostate exams. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! Oh shit! It's for your health. Shut up! It's for your health. Oh, that is so funny. That's the best. That's the best excuse. This is for all girls out there. If you ever want to like, if you've ever wanted to put your fingers in a guy's butt, which I don't know how many people want to do that, but if you do, then you could always just say, "I'm doing it for your health." <laughs> Stop crying. Check it around. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just check it. Just I'm just gonna rifle around in your just asshole. Just gonna feel around a little bit. <laughs> The worst term to use. Uh, it's not a file folder. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm just gonna browse in your butthole for a minute. <laughs> yeah. Scroll, scroll, scroll. <laughs> Peruse. Uh, I am a doctor. <laughs> Dr. Doctor. Blow the dust off the <laughs> stacks and take a little rifle. <laughs> <laughs> the act of rifling your fingers is a lot of movement. I love it. I love it. <laughs> it's about time. It's about time we brought rifle. Wife- Rifling assholes back. <laughs> <laughs> it's about time. Or you started it in the first place. <laughs> Rifling <laughs> assholes. Yeah. The leading cause of mass cancer is non-rifled assholes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Remember to rifle your asshole, asshole rifled <laughs> <laughs> every every six months. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Just a pop and up don't use ri- don't use one of those rifles with a sword on the end. <laughs> <laughs> Just get a German to use a sword backwards. <laughs> if, if they're using a bayonet, they are not a professional. <laughs> they are not. They did not go to street doctor medical school. <laughs> They are not a professional. Well, let me tell you. Report that, them to the doctor, please. That doctor was totally unprofessional. <laughs> <laughs> he showed up on my front yard with a rifle bayonet device and just yelled at me about rifling my asshole. And then oh, man. Kathleen came and I just allowed her to do it because I can tell how professional she is. <laughs> she had a lab coat on. Yeah, there was a camera crew with her, so you know it's legit. Yeah. I've wanted to go buy scrubs and just walk around. Yeah. <laughs> like, see if anyone else... Ask me questions. I just do alarmingly stupid things. <laughs> just, just give breast exams. Yeah. I can do it because I'm a girl and it's not sexist. Sure. Just dressed as a doctor, pull into a gas station, roll down your window, and start pumping gas into your car. <laughs> it's all right. I'm a doctor. <laughs> That'd be, that, if I was a doctor, I would use that for. <laughs> I would steal copper mugs and be like, I'm a doctor. It's all right. It's all right. 
<laughs> like you go in frantically. You go in frantically and start putting them in your coat. No, I know. I know what I'm doing. I'm yeah. <laughs> yeah. I go into 7-Eleven, put your head under the slurping machine. <laughs> I am a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Don't question me. I'm a doctor. <laughs> I've got to go. I've got a. I've got a 3:30 that I gotta be at. <laughs> I'm a doctor. It's all fun. I'm a doctor. Can I have those? Can I have those Mentos? I'm a doctor. Thank you. <laughs> Speaking of those, <laughs> going into 7-Eleven and putting your head under a machine. My cousin walked into a 7-Eleven and put his hand under the hot cheese. Yeah. <laughs> what? And started doing it. He's like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> he got like second degree burn. Of course he did. <laughs> he was so drunk. It was, I'm like, what did you think was going to happen? You, you think that you could just hold molten wow. cheese? <laughs> hot cheese. I think he's the reason why it says caution hot on those machines. <laughs> At least he didn't put his head under that. That would have been a nightmare. My, a nightmare. My he just wanted the cheese. Yeah. He wanted to forego the chips. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. He just, he was, you know, drunk people, right? Yeah. Tim, you know, drunk people. Uh-huh. Uh, <laughs> my brother went in and took a small cup and put it underneath and then got a bunch of cheese and put a straw in it and walked out. And they didn't say anything. Oh cheese is free. Yeah, it's yeah, cheese free is cheese. Free. And chili. And chili. Which, like, why don't you just go with a bowl and just have a bowl yeah. of chili one day? Yeah. yeah. I think they don't say anything because they're like, nah, that guy will be dead soon anyway. <laughs> <laughs> also because that chili yeah. is disgusting. No one's going to want to eat a bowl of that garbage. Uh, I, yeah. I once had a friend, uh, two friends, who had this vehement argument in person that got really heated about the, the about types of chili and how they're like, the chili you get on, like, a burger burger when it's not doesn't have beans or like real yeah. chunks or ingredients they're like that's not chili just because it has chili powder in it doesn't mean it's chili and the other guy was like it's officially chili <laughs> and they got so mad at it's each other chili. They, chili. They, they never came to a consensus no they, they had were surgery at four <laughs> <laughs> One of them's dead now of chili-related <laughs> causes. I always thought that you had to have beans in your chili to make a chili, and then I ate a chili dog at Carney's. It's in L.A. on uh, Sunset, like right by the comedy store. Yeah. yeah, It's the greatest, and I'm like, I declare this chili. There's no beans in it, <laughs> or they've pulverized the beans into it. I don't yeah. know what it was, but uh, it was the greatest chili I've ever had in my life. Officially Those chili, chili fries. <laughs> that was officially chili. <laughs> <laughs> now you can do the nod for that. Officially chili. <laughs> <laughs> also, I'm a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a doctor, and I, I declare this officially chili. <laughs> Don't accept unofficial chili. <laughs> <laughs> Kathleen McGee, street doctor's official chili. <laughs> with some old Dutch chips <laughs> but it will get soggy it will that's the downfall of the cardboard <laughs> bowl use that's the <laughs> box as a bowl <laughs> that's the downfall of the you cardboard to, bowl yeah. you have to eat it really fast otherwise <laughs> yes, it'll soak through and it'll get all over your pants <laughs> it's the worst I've ruined so many pants but I declare this message safe because I'm a doctor <laughs> <laughs> doctor approved <laughs> No, I want to laugh to it. It says Dr. McGee, street doctor. <laughs> That's my new goal in life. My birthday is April like, 5th. Dr. McGee, uh, embroidered in, yeah. very nice. Yeah. But then street Just doctor written. written in like, in like graffiti. <laughs> and then like, like loose. T- <laughs> Do you want me to tag you and examine you? <laughs> Set up a booth like Lucy and Peanuts, and you just sit outside places and be like, free, uh, fr- uh, free diagnoses. Yeah. Yeah. Or pay whatever you want. And then instead of giving them a lollipop at the end, you give them a little cup of chili. <laughs> I love it. I love it. My office is a stoop. <laughs> <laughs> But I, I'm always open. <laughs> <laughs> Twin portion. Um, so the the next segment that we're going to do here on the on the Hunks podcast. Um, are you familiar with the TV show Orange is the New Black? Yes. It oh. made me want to go to lady prison. Oh, nice. Yeah. It looks like fun. It does. They do it? make it look fun. They make it look fun. Even Wentworth looks like fun, and there's a lot more stabbing in Wentworth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It sound, it, like, they make it sound like you would just get fucked so much. Like, All the time. Just, yeah. But like so much sex. Way. Yeah. Like, no, like by a woman that will make you come. Yeah. 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 You'll get finger banged in a church yeah. by yeah, Karen by a hot Manning. Oh. That was seemingly the only place that anyone fucked is in the church. <laughs> yeah. I just started watching. else are you going to fuck? I just started watching The Family Guy again, and like I'm in the first season again, and there's that one scene where he's watching a prison movie and they like 
they like take their tops off they're like okay like the cop comes up he's like okay ladies it's laundry day and so the girls take their tops off like, <laughs> oh my god it's so cold in here <laughs> i'm like orange is the new black is doing that but with feminism yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> so that it's sexy but it still is powerful and meaningful yeah <laughs> and it's their choice not a man directing this that's right yeah, yeah. it's sophie's choice <laughs> <laughs> it's it's poignant powerful church sex and yeah i don't know Fuck me in church. <laughs> Grab it by the back of my hand. It's a message. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Fuck just, me in the church. The only thing about that is a lot of those girls have meth teeth, and I don't find that attractive. Yeah. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. But you can get past that. <laughs> <laughs> can you? And how do you do that? I don't know. You just tell a sad story. <laughs> don't smile. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so in, in that in that TV show. Okay, yeah, sorry. Uh, I went off topic. They, <laughs> I always see that. They got to know some characters. Ooh. Um, so this segment is called, uh, Orange is the New Kathleen. Ooh, I like it. Cause what happened to old Kathleen? We want to, g- oh, good question. <laughs> <laughs> she got her doctorate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's a real she doctor. She, she's real successful. <laughs> <laughs> that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah, how does the segment go again? <laughs> so we're going to get to know you. Oh, yeah. exciting. Mm-hmm. Very right. exciting. Yeah. <laughs> All so right. So we're going to give you some hypothetical questions. Ooh, okay. And uh, and how you answer them is up to you. Oh, yeah. really? But Good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad it's not up to you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Me too. You're really good at explaining things. <laughs> Jim just learned what an interview is. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, most questions are up to the person that's answering them. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, don't, I don't have an earpiece in. Yeah. <laughs> like Steve Martin is telling me what to say. Yeah. <laughs> There's like a slide away wall with Steve Martin. Yeah. Yes, that was a Roxanne yeah. reference. It. Thank you. I pr- loved that movie. I hope cool I people got anyway. <laughs> um. Uh, so we'll ask the questions. Oh, that's Answer. how it works. We'll okay. ask the questions Okay, good. Here. You'll do the answering. Oh, that's how this works. <laughs> good. And w- the most important piece of uh, information that you can have is that in this world, hypothetical, yeah. there are no consequences. Oh, so that's like great. None. 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 Just None. like stealing cups, there's nothing. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Right. No exactly. Consequences. In Tim's world. It's like yeah. we're in Tim's world. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so Kathleen. Yes. The year is uh, 1912. Okay. And uh, you just finished uh, your doctor school. Oh, good. And you're headed back to Philadelphia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm from Philadelphia. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good old Philly. Born and raised. Born and raised. Uh, I invented the cheese st- steak. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's what doctors did back yeah, then. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah I'm yeah, trying yeah. to get patients. Yeah. Dr. You know McGee's <laughs> dentists used to bleed people. In, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, That's back what in 1912, f- feed you candy. Doctors, <laughs> doctors were just foods. in a lab <laughs> trying to find the most delicious <laughs> recipe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, before, before you, they just made cheesesteaks with leeches. Yeah, and then, uh, it's ridiculous. Yeah. I was innovative. Yeah. Dr. Colonel Sanders was yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Ronald McDonald painting Dr. Ronald McDonald. <laughs> I need to get out of this hospital and do something I love. <laughs> I've always fancied a burger. Something that makes a difference. <laughs> the Burger King is the top rated surgeon of his time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. He invented open heart surgery. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't content with both being a king and a burger baron, so I became an open heart surgeon. It's <laughs> <laughs> really gone off the rails. I know, I love it. This is fun. Perfect. I love it. I always go off the rails. That's great. Yeah. So all of the all of your famous food figures are also doctors. Okay, good. Okay, seemingly. So 1912, 1912. on her way back to Philadelphia. Yeah. Yeah. On a train. Yeah. On With the streets of Philadelphia. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stop. Okay, keep going. I know it's in my head too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so uh, uh, you, you're on this train heading back to Philadelphia. Okay. You're a new doctor. Uh huh. You're thinking about a cheesesteak. Yeah. Can't wait. S- this. Uh, and you're in the bar cart. Ooh, the bar cart. Yeah. Bar car? 
Bar car? Am I in the cart? <laughs> in the bar? <laughs> Am I sitting in the bar cart? You're sitting in a bar cart in the bar car. <laughs> the bar cart's bar car. And I'm Bob, petite. <laughs> and a young Bob bar car walks. <laughs> 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 in 1912, he'd be about 22. <laughs> <laughs> and he asks you, is this his seat taken? A young Bob Barker? Bob Barker. Bob Barker. <laughs> yeah. Relation. Oh, Relation, so he, yeah. he has his own game show still as well. Uh, he's also thinking about it. Oh, good. <laughs> 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 He's thinking so about her doctor. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's all you could do in the 1912s. Yeah. The price is okay. The price <laughs> should be good. <laughs> should be a good price. <laughs> I'll keep working on this. Is, is this seat taken? <laughs> yeah. Something about price. Vincent I just price. love yodeling. I gotta get yodeling in there somehow. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get some yodeling. I just love yodeling. <laughs> all I have is a yodeling idea, but I'm gonna make it a big deal. <laughs> I can't get enough of it. I've got this pile of cars and I love yodeling. I don't know what to do. I need to go off track again if we're talking about prices, right? Yeah. You know, remember that game where he's always like, we can't reset it for another week. Is that true? <laughs> <laughs> Is that true? You, yeah, you fucking Because I up. believed it and I was like, you better not yeah. fuck up. <laughs> yeah, they can't go back. You're going to make some guy reset this thing? He's not week? here until next Tuesday. <laughs> he does. He only comes in once a week. It's just really complex to recalibrate, and he's just like this This expert. He goes to all the... He's got a route that he's on. He's only available once a week. Weird, like a he's weird working out to be the Plinko machine polisher. <laughs> one day I'll get there. Right now I'm just the machine resetter. Okay, back to this story. A young Bob... Bar cart <laughs> young Bob sits bar next cart. to me. Sits next to you on the bar cart and the bar cart. Okay. And uh, <laughs> it's roomy bar cart. And he he opens up. He's got a little tin box. Okay. And he and he's like, I, I have a gift for you. <laughs> and, he, and he opens it up, and inside of it are three things. Okay. One is a pen. Okay. What, the other one is a, like a big ballpoint pen, uh, like a three thousand dollar pen. Oh, three thousand dollar pen. Yeah, nineteen twelve. Nineteen twelve dollars. Oh, it writes in gold. Oh. Yeah, wow, it does. <laughs> <laughs> Liquid gold. Okay. Yeah. Liquid gold. Yeah. <laughs> it's kept at an alarmingly hot temperature. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Every time you write, you're like, oh. oh, oh. <laughs> you have a hot cheese. Yeah, you, cheese. You, you dip it in hot cheese to cool off. <laughs> this reminds me of the nacho. cheese. She's instant in of 07. Yeah. Man, I love it. It's just the idea of like, what is this, hot cheese? Like, you calibrate heat by how, like by hot cheese. Yeah, yeah that's Your right. calibration of heat is <laughs> This is hotter than that cheese I had that one time. It's Was a it lava hotter? pen. It's a lava pen. Yeah. It's as hot as cheese outside and it's raining whores. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, I guess the world's ending. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, really nice pen. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that writes in golden cheese. <laughs> I get it. I like <laughs> it's, it. It's worth three thousand uh, dollars. There's a letter, uh-huh. and it says it's from Marilyn Monroe. Okay. And to whom it may concern. Is she at her is best or at sealed? her worst? I don't think she's alive in 1912. <laughs> <laughs> is it from the future? Maybe uh, Francis yeah. Francis Gum was alive. Maybe who knows? Yeah. How old? Nobody knows how old Marilyn Monroe really was. That's true. Ever That's right. at what any time? Really? No. And we never know what size her dress was because it's always between an eight and a twelve. <laughs> <laughs> she's Which, just a mystery. Yeah. She was uh, excellent. As a. <laughs> 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 he says wistfully at no one. <laughs> <laughs> out into the yeah <laughs> into the <laughs> just out into the ether. <laughs> yeah, she was excellent. Excellent, excellent. Uh, what was that? Uh, a pen, a letter from Marilyn yeah. Monroe, and a uh, and a red button. Oh, so are you? Oh, what the hell is going on? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so Bob Bob Barkart <laughs> <laughs> opens this tin, and these three things are in there, and he says, "You can have one of them." Okay. Which one do you pick? 
Well, what is the? Is it like a red button, like that you press and something you happens? Don't, you don't know until you press it. But it oh, is, so yeah, it's, it's a pressing like a button. button. It's a oh, pressing button. Button. pressing button. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it was a coat button. Sorry, well. guys. Yeah, I thought it was a coat button. I'm like, who's gonna pick a well, coat button? Anybody? Yeah. Over a three thousand dollar pen and a letter <laughs> from a yet bored Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, you think about it. It's like I can't touch the pen. Who the hell is Marilyn Monroe? At least I could probably put this button on a coat later. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But stupid. <laughs> but a terrible choice. Yeah. I don't know. And the and are you going to tell me what the button does yeah. when I answer? Yeah. Each each of these three gifts from Bob Barkart <laughs> has a different fate ahead of it. Is this like a weird choose your own adventure that you invented? Okay. Yeah. But there's no consequences. But there there's no, con- no, no consequences. consequences. So don't Love worry no cons- about I'm the not worried that you make. Yeah. Even in my real life, I'm not worried about consequences. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest. I just, I just do whatever I want. Ah! Guess visas after me again. <laughs> oh, well. Down to hit the road. <laughs> yeah. Dr. McGee's on the <laughs> land once again. <laughs> I'm going to talk into collection agents. I just tell them, I don't know what you're talking about. And then I hang out. And that's how I get rid of them. Put them on anyway. the phone with a Chinese food restaurant. <laughs> you're just, you're <laughs> so, so. I never ordered chicken balls and fried rice. What are you talking about? That's how your visa gets so out of control. They're just directly ordering two visa. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, okay, I guess. <laughs> and then suddenly all my bills are paid. I don't even it's crazy. It's crazy. I would probably I like pushing buttons. I probably would choose the button because I like you choose the yeah, button. Yeah, 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 definitely. Okay, cool, go, 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 go. Yeah. So you choose the button, you press the button. Pew pew pew. <laughs> Lights, horse frost. Uh, <laughs> horse frost. Horse frost. Horse frost. Horse frost. <laughs> Frosty horses. <laughs> so, uh, From the Budweiser's uh, commercial. <laughs> 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 Just some Clydesdales coming in. Stomping yeah. around behind the side of the train. <laughs> uh, so a talking Clydesdale comes into the bar car. <laughs> <laughs> and he says, Dr. McGee. <laughs> I think that's offensive that everyone thinks that horses sound that way. Yeah. <laughs> like, I think they have a very polite, intellectual voice. Yeah, yeah you're profiling that shit. <laughs> yeah, you're profiling horses right now. We have to get back to the future. <laughs> <laughs> Marilyn Monroe is in danger. <laughs> <laughs> So you get on, you get on this talking Clyde sale. Okay, exciting. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and he jumps into a portal. Okay. You and the talking Clyde sale. And uh, what's his name? Uh, Cl- 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 if it's Clyde, I'm going to be disappointed <laughs> in you. Yeah, me too. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's Clit- Clitoris. <laughs> Clitoris. 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 Clitoris the horse. This horse is the hardest horse to find. <laughs> I can never find exists. it when I need to find it. Yeah. I don't think this horse exists. <laughs> <laughs> this horse is a myth. Yeah. Yeah. The reason why I can travel through time is because most men can't see it and don't yeah. understand no, its No, but presence. if you pierce that horse, then you have a real fun time walking around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it, likes be, it likes to be petted, but then it really likes to be left alone. <laughs> 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 Sometimes I don't wear underwear when I ride this horse because I like it rubbing up against me. It's a clitoris, of course. <laughs> it's a clitoris horse. So you get on the clitoris horse <laughs> and uh, jump clitoris. into a portal. Okay. And uh, now you're in Marilyn Monroe's living room. Ooh, exciting. Is she alive now? She's alive and well. And is she startled? By any of this? No, she knows. This is her horse. This is her plan. <laughs> That's her clit. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I just rode in yeah. on Marilyn Monroe's clit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like her Boy, are my arms tied. <laughs> this is the best podcast I've ever been on. <laughs> 
Oh my god! Oh my Holy god. fuck! This is legendary. Uh, yeah. And we have so, no idea how old Marilyn Monroe's no, horse is. Yeah, yeah, nobody no. knows how old. But so knows. what you're saying is that Politicians Marilyn Monroe politicians love this horse. <laughs> yeah. John F. Kennedy once uh, once had a wonderful name. So you're saying that, that that Marilyn Monroe can detach her clitoris, it turns into a horse, and can travel through time. Yeah, that's why she's Marilyn fucking Monroe. Yeah. yeah. No, it makes yeah. perfect sense to me. <laughs> she's actually not dead. She just got on her <laughs> traveling donkey horse clitoris. <laughs> <laughs> and rode off into the sunset. <laughs> yeah, She's exactly. had enough of this bullshit life. Yeah. <laughs> why does everyone like, oh, Elvis is still alive or uh, Tupac's still alive, yeah. but why don't you ever think Marilyn Monroe's still alive? Because they found her in a bathtub naked <laughs> and dead. <laughs> <laughs> well, they found uh, Elvis on a toilet. Yeah, we should, we should start true. a rumor about we somebody should. that nobody really cares if they're alive still. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. the guy so. from the Ernest movies is still alive. <laughs> <laughs> Jim Barn is, is Jim just Barn. working Jim at a grocery Lewis. store in Saskatoon. Yeah. <laughs> Barney's back. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh Jim man, Barn. I want a T-shirt that says Jim Barney lives. <laughs> <laughs> Jim Barney lives. We all need a shirt that says Jim Barney lives. I love it. In I my mind, he's that's still on alive. the back of your official doctor shirt. <laughs> yeah. Jim yeah. Barney yeah. lives. <laughs> Spray paint. <laughs> I expect to have one of these from Hunks uh, oh, next time I visit Winnipeg. For sure. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> You're like, okay, your diagnosis is this, and uh, have you heard about Jim Varney? And you pass him a pen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Listen, I am, a, I am a doctor, but uh, my hobby. <laughs> yeah. I have some literature in my car for you. <laughs> well, I'm a Jim Varney death denier. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm proud to say I am. <laughs> All right, we have Kathleen McGee, doctor, uh, street doctor, uh, uh, chili enthusiast, and Jim Varney denier. And she's uh, <laughs> no, death a death denier. Death denier. Jim Varney <laughs> truther. Jim Varney <laughs> truther. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he's out there. I saw him. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean, Vern? It's, it's like an X Files poster. So the Barney is out there. <laughs> it's a blurry little picture of Jim Varney's face. He's, uh, he's walking in that Bigfoot pose, that classic Bigfoot <laughs> pose. <laughs> <laughs> Beside a 7 Eleven. I believe. <laughs> He's like stepping on a believe. rake. <laughs> <laughs> a handful of hot cheese. <laughs> Everywhere I go, I just, I'm like, is that Jim Barney? Is that Jim Barney? Every time I go to a Legion, I always yeah. think I see Jim Barney. <laughs> yeah. With a real Jim Barney, please stand up. Please stand up. <laughs> Rest his soul if he is dead, but I believe he's alive. Oh, man. <laughs> Jim, sure Jim Barney is dead. Yeah, no, he died. <laughs> for sure. I was is devastated. He? I love him. No, I, believe, I believe he's alive. Is he, though? Yeah. He's alive. Is he? I, uh, I believe so him. you're in Marilyn Monroe's living, living room. room. Yeah. Is Jim Barney there? Uh, yeah, he is. <laughs> he's putting up the drapes. <laughs> <laughs> he's an interior decorator now. Yeah. <laughs> a young Jim Varney. <laughs> <laughs> what is this, like 1957? He's yeah. about 23. That's right. Um, uh, and so Marilyn Monroe. Yeah. Uh, she tells you, uh, <laughs> "Hey, how's it going?" Okay, cool. <laughs> she tells. <laughs> she, she tells you, is, "Hey, this how's is it one going? of her many quotes that goes <laughs> on Instagram." <laughs> hey, how's, hey, it, how's going? it going? <laughs> uh, Marilyn Monroe. No yeah, question. Yeah, just, just a period. A period. <laughs> 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 so many troubled girls post that quote. <laughs> hey, how's it going? This is how I feel right now. Yeah. Just like Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> hashtag Varney lives. <laughs> yeah, hashtag everything Varney lives. Um, okay, so uh, hey, how's it going? And, <laughs> and then uh, Dana... You'll play Marilyn Monroe. Okay. And uh, so she she does this she does a twirl <laughs> and then she says, "That's how that's how I'm going." <laughs> 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 Which is another famous quote. Yeah. <laughs> this time with a question mark. Yeah, that's how I'm going. <laughs> that's how I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> that's how I'm going. <laughs> And then Marilyn Monroe asks you a question. Um, have you, oh, have you ever seen a clitoris this big? <laughs> and remember, Kathleen, no consequences. No consequences. <laughs> I have two like this in a barn at home. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think you're so special, Marilyn? <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, and then you two have a nice time. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> No consequences. No consequences. No consequences. No very consequences. <laughs> In this world, Marilyn lives. Yeah. <laughs> and Barney lives. Yeah, and Barney. Yeah. And the horse clitoris. Yeah. Okay. And they're both of leaders of the Illuminati. <laughs> 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 Barney and, and Monroe. <laughs> <laughs> a match made in heaven. Oh I love it. Boy. So that was by far the the the, the most off uh, <laughs> off the rails episode of uh, <laughs> Orange is the New Whoever. Yeah. Is yeah. it yeah. always that story, or did you just make no. that all up yeah. in your no, hungover just, head? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. I love it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's the best choose your own adventure I've ever read. <laughs> yeah, you did not expect no, any of that. No, I didn't even expect to talk about Jim Varney today. <laughs> I didn't even expect. You know what I find no. when you expect to talk about Jim Varney, it's not nearly as interesting. No. You can't, yeah, you can't plan for it. You've yeah. got to just let it happen. I'd hate, that w- I'd hate that we would get pigeonholed like, oh, you're doing the Hunks podcast. Get ready to talk about Jim Varney. <laughs> When you get that text and somebody's like, "Can we talk about Jim Varney when you get home?" <laughs> yeah, like, we, we need, need to, to talk, talk. <laughs> <laughs> about Jim love Varney. It, I love it. <laughs> like, oh shit, I'm gonna I, I'm gonna work late tonight. I need to stay at the bar until you think she's asleep. Or he's asleep, whatever. You know. I'm going to start a new oh, podcast so devoted to Jim Varney. <laughs> it's just going to be a thousand episodes of me talking about Jim Varney with no one but me. Because <laughs> I'm an expert and a doctor. Driving around <laughs> rambling about Jim Varney. <laughs> whatever happened to Dr. McGee? She went crazy. <laughs> <laughs> the Varney consumed her. Yeah. Yeah. She went crazy, but her agent <laughs> loves yeah. it. He yeah. loves she's it. She's on YouTube. Yeah. She's getting the hits. She's, wild. she's a YouTube sensation. <laughs> Teenage girls scream when they see her. <laughs> <laughs> she's the <Yeah>, <laughs> I'm going to bring him to a new generation. Yeah. A new set Those of eyes. Girls. <laughs> <laughs> I, won't know about Jim I won't rest until we find him and people respect him again. Nowadays, everybody want to talk like you got something to say, but nothing comes out when you move lips. Just a bunch of gibberish. Motherfuckers act like about Jim Varney. <laughs> Never forget about Jim Varney. I like how you said that you'd start this podcast because you're a Jim Varney expert. I think it would be funnier if you just aren't a Jim Varney expert. Yeah, I just <laughs> Google got him. Podcast. I just sit on Google. Oh, I didn't know he liked horses <laughs> <laughs> look at that he was born in wichita <laughs> look at that what? Oh, look at that what? <laughs> just read the wiki look at that he got a degree in economics and <laughs> ernest got a, ernest a, goes to school allergic to and gets a de- he's allergic to well poor jim Varney. i love walnuts <laughs> i love walnuts Dude, like, i'm allergic to the 300th walnuts. episode of <laughs> Okay. Be reading Jim Barney's Wikipedia. <laughs> Kathleen right, this, Googles this week. Jim Barney. <laughs> <laughs> on, the, on the set of Ernest Goes to Camp, he turned his ankle during this amazing <laughs> scene where he was throwing a frog at a child. Oh, my prank, God. Prank phone call the, uh, the family. If you could convince Jim Barney's family that Jim Barney is still alive. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. You're you win something. <laughs> He's living in my basement right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, we're gonna take a quick break and come back with more hunks podcast. Um, have you ever wanted to drink a Moscow Mule? <clears throat> But it was never good. (coughs) (laughs) That's it. That's the ad. (laughs) Jim Barney always drank out of copper mugs that made him (laughs) gurgle phlegm. So you're not above it either. (laughs) Enjoy a (laughs) phlegm cup. (laughs) Today. (laughs) Today. Ketchup flavored fat phlegm cups. (laughs) So weird. I think in Manitoba. (laughs) 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 On this cup, it says this almost makes waking up worth it. (laughs) That's sad. No. That's so fucking sad. <laughs> that is sad. More than just coffee. At the 7-Eleven coffee bar. Ooh, a coffee bar. Better than a the drink 
bar. Card. <laughs> yeah. Bar cart. Bar cart. <laughs> that is actually Almost my first me. thought in the morning. Almost Coffee? makes waking mm. up worth it, but mostly not because we all wish we were dead. Like, <laughs> yeah. You know what is great about Seven Eleven Coffee Bar? They have <laughs> miniature marshmallows, and you can like, what? yeah, what? in the shakers. What? Not in Manitoba. You can walk, I'm yeah. gonna go to Seven Eleven after in this and shakers? get a corn dog for sure. I'm gonna go too. I think. I think I saw it in like in like um what you call it? Where was I? Like uh, it's called Five Hundred Mile House or something or One Hundred Mile. House. It's it's a northern BC town. Oh, but wow. I was like, it was like a shaker. Like you know how. And it had mar- miniature marshmallows, and you could just boop boop. Because remember oh. when you were a kid, yeah, and like yeah. in the packages, yeah. but they'd only yeah. give you like two or three miniature marshmallows. Yeah. Yeah. One time, I filled a cup with like <laughs> this much hot chocolate, so like a quarter cup of hot chocolate, and it was like, burr, burr, burr. <laughs> I was high. I was very high. <laughs> and then your cousin burned his hand yeah, on it. That was the same night. <laughs> same night, he got a burn. I got a cup full of marshmallows. It was delightful. <laughs> delightful. Chocolate marshmallows. Yeah. Mm. You can also yeah. buy. Uh, all uh, Lucky Charms marshmallows. Just the marshmallows. Just the marshmallows. Oh, you can order yeah. it. You, online somewhere. I've seen it. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I'd be into it. Yeah. Fuck. Like, <laughs> is, it, is this somebody just like separating the marshmallows? Yeah, it's, out just, <laughs> it's Jim Barney. But <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to tell anybody, but... <laughs> that's Jim Barney's his. been sustaining himself on Lucky Charms marshmallows. But that was his dream all along. Ernest was just <laughs> yeah. a fallback. Uh, he yeah. always just wanted to separate. He got sidetracked. Yeah, he yeah. just wanted... The least interesting yeah. Ernest movie. Ernest separates marshmallows. <laughs> <laughs> that's the one he wanted to make. That was his passion project, mm. but he died before... Mm. I mean, he's still alive. <laughs> <laughs> Slipped. Um, okay, so <laughs> I'm eating a chip. Okay, good. <laughs> it's delicious. Yeah. Uh, it's we're time to play a, a game called Two, Two Truths, Truths and a Lie. <laughs> <laughs> so that was so soft. That was so <laughs> soft. Um, so the way this works, um, uh, we have a, a listener. His name is Arthur, and he suggested. That we'd make a slight altercation to the way we do. <laughs> a slight altercation? Like we're going to fight? We suggest we fight, yeah. We just, it's, now yes. it's just a fight to the death. Yeah. So but here's just your, slightly. <laughs> yeah. So like here's if you figure payment. out the lie, you get to punch me in the face. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how this works. That's how it works. <laughs> get ready. Arthur's an asshole. He's a, he's a real prick. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> what word am I looking for? Altercation. 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 Yeah. altercation. I love it. <laughs> you keep being you, Tim. <laughs> Got into a small altercation with your suit, sir. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> this is where I take my pants to be altercated. <laughs> <laughs> um, so. Uh, so the the I mean the way it works is uh, you know three statements, two of them will be true, one of them will be a lie. Okay. And then if you make a fourth statement and just say one of these statements is a lie. Okay. Then. A fourth statement. Yeah, I think we're just confusing. I think I it's just was three, confusing. Two truths, yeah. and, a lie. Two truths and a lie. Let's keep it like that. Yeah, yeah, this Arthur guy is just trying to fuck this up for you. Yeah, he wants to get us in a fight. I yeah. think yeah, I don't oh, think yeah. I think that's. His, that's all he wanted. <laughs> okay. Arthur, come we'll on. We'll just do the two truths. <laughs> do I have to start or does somebody else start? Oh, uh, it's you, all on you. you oh, it's all yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Then, and then we're going we're gonna to try gonna to guess. We're going to yeah. guess which one is which the lie. Is okay. Yeah. Put our heads together. Okay. Um, the first time I was ever drunk was in Prague. Mm. Uh, I was on Romper Room as a child. Oh, okay. Nice. Oh. And uh, my favorite porn star follows me on Twitter. Whoa, Whoa. these are good oh. ones. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like I could be yeah. on a game show or something. Okay, what's Romper Room? Romper Room is a kid's show from the 80s, maybe also late 70s. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, they, this lady, I guess the, the idea was she would have she children... Yeah. As guests and tell stories and is stuff she, like Is that, that the one where she looked into the mirror? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. There's like a big that puppet. One. There's a, I there's believe a big that puppet. one. I think that They're one's like a truth. A, yeah, so <laughs> you are one of the guest children is what you're, yeah. you would have us believe. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I yeah. buy the porn star following you on I Twitter. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. 100%. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So I think that... D- Drunk in Prague. Drunk in Prague. I think that that w- probably wasn't your first time. 
Yeah. But it was w- your last time. <laughs> 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 Getting drunk? Do you not know me? <laughs> <laughs> no, you've been drunk since then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Stop <laughs> being drunk. Not stop. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have a state of sobriety. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, this cup makes sense now. This <laughs> 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 almost makes waking up worth it. That was the, the, the 7 Eleven bar carts. That's where you got that. Yeah, yeah I love it. I love it. <laughs> I want you all to sign that cup for me. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to know what which one? Well, I'll go with uh, Prague. I think that uh, that's, it, that's the, lie. the lie. I think so too. It's maybe a half truth. Yeah, uh, there's some kernel of truth in there, but I'm going with Prague as well. Yeah, because yeah, mm-hmm. when, because I'm thinking, when, how old would you have been? When you first had a drink, like eight or nine? Or no, no, getting like drunk. <laughs> 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 no, I think I was like a child alcoholic <laughs> walking around in a martini <laughs> class within my kindergarten <laughs> class. Yeah. That was when she was on Romper Room. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In, in Prague, it was a special Prague episode of Romper Room. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody want a Moscow mule? <laughs> Hey. <laughs> <laughs> it's where you first met Jim Varney. Yes, that's true. Um, <laughs> uh, and okay, so yeah, I'm going with Prague too. Tim, um, I will say, uh, um, maybe the, uh, maybe the romper room. I'll say is the lie. Oh, break the tradition here. I'm gonna break the tradition here. So everybody says Prague except for you. Yeah. Okay, you are right. Wow. Oh, yeah. I'm right. Wow. As yeah. I was four, 14 or 15, and we went to Prague for a hockey tournament for my brother. Oh, oh, fuck, and yeah. I had my first rum and cokes there, and I'm like, these taste like caramels. <laughs> 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 and I loved them. Yes. I yeah. never was on romp room, and uh, even if they asked me to, I probably wouldn't, because uh, that <laughs> yeah. bitch never said my name, ever. <laughs> oh, hey. Yeah. That was a horrible trick to play on children. Yeah, Because yeah. yeah. she's like, I see this, it's, and then you're this kid that's like sitting there, you never get seen, and you're like, what am I, invisible? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she starts getting weird Terrible. with the names, and you're like, well, you know, my yeah. names are so normal. Why yeah. could, and Alec Knight is my favorite porn star, and he follows me. Nice. He's a, he's a, a star of the stepdad genre, oh, which okay. is my favorite. Yeah. So one time I just tweeted, I want Alec Knight to notice me and pretend to be my dad. And then he t- <laughs> followed me and tweeted me back. Uh, I noticed you. Now go clean your room. <laughs> 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 and I was like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> it was the greatest ever. Sexy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it still makes me wet. <laughs> Great. Great. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, right on. That I did was it. Fun. Uh, yeah. So your you brother must have been pretty good at hockey. Yeah, he played uh he played professional in France. He would have made the NHL, but he had a knee injury when he was oh, eighteen shit. and oh, and man. it's those assholes don't want to take a liability yeah, like that. Yeah, it's fucked up when you have a little injury like that, yeah. and then you lose out on millions of dollars. Yeah, yeah, pretty yeah. much. Fuck my yeah. dumbass yeah. brother. Well, it's like it's like a. I mean, it's a sad comparison, but it's like a horse, right? Like, yeah. They, as soon as it breaks a leg, they're like, right it off. That's so yeah. weird because my brother's middle name is Clitoris. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it all comes back. Just tied this whole podcast up into a little bow. <laughs> Leslie Clitoris Varney. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Oliver Leslie Clitoris <laughs> McGee. Does <laughs> <laughs> it Clitoris McGee sound like, <laughs> like you're trying to make up a fake name? <laughs> Hello, I'd like to take out a bank loan. My name is Clitoris <laughs> McGee. <laughs> yeah. Sure, let me just put you on hold at this Chinese food restaurant. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh my God Do amazing. I have a good credit, credit rating? Of course, I'm a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor, damn it! You want some chili? <laughs> <laughs> I've got a pocket full of chili. It's not in a container. But you can yeah. some. <laughs> I've got a pocket full of chili. <laughs> <laughs> one hand in my chili pocket. Oh wow. wow! Well, Kathleen, this was the most fun. This was yes. the most fun. Super I fun. had so much fun. I would do this again. I in feel a like a hundred percent different. <laughs> Good. From when we started this podcast. Yeah, we th- I thought you were gonna die. Maybe I didn't yeah. know how I was gonna get through. I didn't expect you to actually talk at all during yeah. this podcast. He graduated uh, between segments. He went and got a chair, yeah, um, which I think helped yeah. a lot. He just no, it's it's making it worse. <laughs> <laughs> I, wish, I wish I was back down. Just being elevated yeah. is very so terrible. Altitude sickness now. It's yeah. dizzy. Yeah, it's dizziness. Yeah. I don't do well with heights. <laughs> <laughs> a solid six inches off the ground. Yeah, I love it. Uh, so. Uh, we're gonna, I guess, do some plugging. Yeah. yeah, do some plugging. What day is this? This is uh, the second Monday in March. 
Which would make it, drum roll please. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, that's right. The 13th. The 13th. The 13th of March. So that means that this Saturday we have a skit or die show at uh, Wee Johnny's Pub in Winnipeg. Yeah. Um, there's no Wee Johnny show this Friday because it's St. Patrick's Day and they're part of the, and they're yeah. Irish pub, so yeah. they're not interested in having us <laughs> <laughs> do our little skits. <laughs> <laughs> what on the on the most holy day of, for know. the Irish people yeah. Yeah. of the Irish calendar? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's the day they always have sketch comedy. Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's fucked up. <laughs> fucked up. Uh, so yeah, we I think that's just about all we have coming up right now. Yeah, we just come back. We would have just come back from Toronto. Mm-hmm. We're currently in Vancouver right now. Wow, you're all over the yeah. map. Yeah. yeah, good for Dude, you. Yeah. Do some fucking fun shows this month. That's yes. exciting. Yeah, yeah, <sighs> yeah. JFL Northwest is was is was awesome. Fantastic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Such a such a privilege to be a part of that. Thank you to anyone show. and everyone that came out to the show last night and. Uh, Thank you to Hip Bang for having us. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, Peter and Chris and Amy Good Murphy were stellar, uh, amazing to share the stage yeah. with them. So and, good. And thanks, uh, Cam McLeod, for having me on the Hero Show. It was a lot of fun. And uh, and Graham Clark for having me on Laugh Gallery. Oh, Laugh Gallery is so fun. Yeah. On Monday, yeah. Graham Clark's amazing. He's just, yeah, genius. Uh, so I think that's all the hunks, pl- plugs. You got some plugs for... Uh, do you ca- do you have listeners outside of Winnipeg? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm Prague, kidding. Germany. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hello, all my Pragians. Yeah. Philadelphia. <laughs> Philadelphia. <laughs> and Pragians. Yeah. Well, I am in the Winnipeg Comedy Fest this year. I can oh, announce it. Yes. I'm not supposed to say anything till the 28th, but this isn't coming out till then. So oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah that's Perfect. Right. So I'll be in Winnipeg for Fuck the first yeah. weekend of April, that's and that's so when I want. We'll be collecting my lab coat from you guys. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, and then I tour, like I'll be in Saskatoon on April 12th, Prince Albert, April 11th, Edmonton. Nice. I'm all over. Just follow me on Instagram, Kathleen underscore McGee yeah. or Twitter, same. Or follow Kathleen my dog, yeah. Eugene oh, underscore yeah. McGee. That's oh, really important. That's Instagram? <laughs> yeah. 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 He's got yeah. his own Instagram? Fuck yeah. Oh my God. How did I not know that? Yeah. He's got I like 245 followers. Fuck. He's very popular. That's more than me. <laughs> <laughs> and he's very interactive. Uh, a lot of people might think that the comments are coming from me, but <laughs> when he responds to a comment, it's from him. It's from him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 He's okay. a very smart dog. <laughs> 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 Very proud. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, I can't wait to meet. He is a baby Eugene. Bjorn. <laughs> Carry him around. <laughs> uh, is there anything else to? Uh, Not that we have. I don't think. Nope. Negative. F book, Twitter, uh, Instagram. Rate and review us. Uh, Kathleen also has her own podcast. Yeah. That's yeah. a super oh, yeah. fucking great podcast called Kathleen McGee's a Hot Mess. It is. It's really fun. Mm-hmm. Get that on mm-hmm. iTunes and Stitcher Radio yep. and all that fun stuff. Yeah. Um. Yeah. 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 You did yeah. it. You did it. So yeah. did it. You talked out of your puking mouth. <laughs> yeah. And he didn't puke. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't puke. Yay. Uh. All right. Well, thank you again, Kathleen. Uh, for anybody that's listening, um, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? Period. <laughs> How's it going? Period. Marilyn that's Monroe. how I'm going. <laughs> 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 I'm going to twirl on out yeah. of here just like Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> Let us know what was officially chilly. And, uh, <laughs> and we'll, we'll catch you next week. Yeah. I love it. All right. Bye. 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 <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I want to get through it. I want to get through it. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah.